everyone. This is Vandal. Welcome back. This is part two to the game Father's Day. It's been a really spooky game so far. So let's jump on in. Here we go. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Somebody in the window again. <gasps> gosh, that's so scary. scary. These lights. Okay, we definitely need a flashlight. She's gone. Okay. It's creepy. Phil, Jonathan, you've gone too far. Do you want to know the truth? I'll tell you her. Oh, what is this? Tonight, two patients escape from a psychiatric hospital, a man and a woman. They present themselves as a married couple, enter into trust, and can harm others. Be careful not to come into contact with them. If you suspect anything, call the local police. No matter how hard you try, they can't admit that you're an unusual child. I want them to understand that. Why are you hindering me? How much longer are you going to put up with being locked in the basement? We need freedom. I have a plan to get rid of them. Let me do it. Gosh, why is everything so creepy? Oh my god, I'm so scared to open it. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's a lever. Okay. <gasps> god, that's so scary. <gasps> oh, I scared myself with that. Jonathan, I found the lock pick. Can I do it with this? Anything here? Gosh, it's so scary. I haven't checked the second floor yet, okay. She hit the keys. Find the lockpick. You know how to use it. Okay, so second floor. Oh my gosh, the sounds. Oh, that doll. Oh, this is so creepy. So creepy. Okay, there's bolt cutters. There's a camera. Press C to turn on the camera. Okay. Yikes. Hello? Phil? <laughs> oh. This kid is not Phil, then who is it? Gosh, that's so scary. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what? Sit. Okay, picture of the grave. I'll try to repeat these photos.
Phil, my son, me and dad wanted to help you so much. We moved into a new house and hoped that everything would change, but evil possessed you, and we didn't know how to deal with it. Terrible things began to happen. Killing birds and animals. It wasn't your fault. You were held hostage by a monster. I wanted to get rid of him. Oh, I hate that the flashlight turns off. That looks like a key, but I can't grab it. Need a bolt cutter. Well, we saw that in the picture. That scratching noise is really scary. My mother punished me and locked me in a room. After you left, Dad, she started treating me badly. Oh, these sounds. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Need to take photos of these places. Gosh, there's like whispers, it's so scary. Need to find a crowbar. Okay. Gosh, okay. All these whispers are so creepy. Oh, ugh, feels like people are walking towards me, like running. I have the lock pick. Let's unlock this. Oh, it's so scary. Okay. I don't recommend you playing this at nighttime. God, it's creepy. Even my own footsteps are scary. Okay, remember we need to take a picture of the grave. See to take a photo. Ugh, an undeveloped photo that needs to shake. Oh, and look, a crowbar. Okay, we need that to open that. Maybe I can break something for them. After my parents were taken away, I ended up in an orphanage. There I found friends and it seems I became happy. The monster that lived in me calmed down and stopped appearing. I wanted to find a family that would accept me for who I really was, a normal. Okay, we have the crowbar. Gosh, why is everything so scary? Gosh. <gasps> Ooh, it's a mannequin. What? <gasps> Holy shit.
Okay, let's try the crowbar. Gosh, this is scary. Oh, I feel like something's gonna pop out. Gosh, look at all that stuff. Why? Okay. Okay. Hold this down. <gasps> okay. This is where in the picture the bolt cutters were. Remember? Okay, let's try to take a picture. Knife. Okay. It worked. It looks like the lock in the basement has opened. Okay, I need my flashlight back on. Alright, it looks like we need two more of those things. One of the locks for the basement. One of them is off. These whispers, they're horrible. There's another gate. Of course, let's go wander in the spooky woods here. <gasps> These mannequins. So scary. I don't know what's more scary to walk <gasps> or to run through this. Like, get it over with. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, did that get you guys? Oh my gosh. Hey, what is this? I did my best to get my parents admitted to a psychiatric clinic. They were diagnosed with schizophrenia, a dangerous form because they almost harmed their child. Gosh, all this stuff. Press C to take a photo, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, you see that? Okay, look, there's a bolt cutters in that picture. Okay, let's take that. There's the bolt cutters, we need those. There was a chest in mother's room, maybe I can open it with this. Okay, and then this is the second thing. Gosh. Why does everything have to be so creepy? 
Oh my god. Thing change shapes. What is this? Puzzle piece. <laughs> Looks like a train. Okay. Anything else in here? If I see anything. Okay, let's go down. Can we do anything with that lock? No, we can't. Of course, let's go back. Oh my gosh. Oh, I have chills all over my body. Okay. Go back upstairs and use the bolt cutters. Why can't we just use bolt cutters on that? <gasps> Up creepy stairs. And we need to open the chest in here. So scary to walk in here. All right, bolt cutter. Okay, here's the third piece. Got it. What is this? Steven and Nancy. We returned to our house, but others live there. I needed to get rid of them and get my life back. They had a child. He looks so much like my Phil. With him, we could start all over again. Little Peter, we are your new mom and dad. Jonathan, she wanted to start over, but something went wrong. Let's go put those little- <gasps> Oh my gosh! Gosh! That got me so bad. Okay, let's go back into that attic place. Oh my god. We need to go pull that switch again, pull the ladder down, and then put those two things in those spots. Okay. So creepy. All right. Here we go. The passage is open. Gosh, that breathing. And that doll's gone. Gone. <gasps> Look, you can see something there. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, look, there's another piece. Northwood, we'll take that. To make that ladder go up again. Go back to that basement door. That breathing is killing me. <gasps> oh, crap. Oh. What the frog? My gosh. Oh, and look at, she's just looking in from outside. You see? Oh my gosh. Okay. The chains are off the door. Super dark in here. Oh! Gosh. Oh, okay. This is all new. I'm so scared to go down. Please tell me the lights work. Of course they don't work. Oh, 
Oh, look, there's the puzzle. Is this gosh that crane something here Looks like there's something here. Can we put the tape there? I'm scared to touch this. Turn this on. Gosh. Okay, let's put the tape in there. Now that we have power. <laughs> Child who craves parental love becomes rejected because he is not like that. I needed to help Phil to find freedom. I calmed down when Phil was safe. Look at that clown. After that accident, Phil asked me to help him get his family back. We tried many times, but it didn't work out, and Phil only got worse. I was left alone. I decided that if we couldn't get his real family back, then I could find a new one. While I was thinking about it, I remembered our house where we were together and decided to take a look at it. When I got home, I saw a baby. Phil could take care of him. Tried to convince Phil to go to the Father's Day celebration on Sunday, saying that your life would change there, but he refused. Then I went there myself, wearing my best outfit. I wanted to amuse the children. Oh met my father with a child. It was the boy from our house. He treated him badly. He wasn't his real father. I made sure he was left alone and went over to him. His name was Peter. Oh my goodness. That's open. Jonathan, your subconscious is more adequate than you. Then you must understand that you are evil. You made your parents monsters. They killed Peter's parents because of you. Emma lost JJ because of you. Oh my gosh. Gosh. What is this? Came home after school. My mom was in a bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. Jonathan, 4.27 a.m. Emma? Emma, your neighbor doesn't bother you anymore? I know you're kind to him and your son likes him, but he seems strange to me. His name is Phil and he lives alone. I've got something on him. He had a family. They got in a car accident. His wife and child died. After that, he moved into an apartment in your house. I don't think you should talk to him. Your brother, Jonathan. This is a letter I sent to Emma. That son of a bitch stole it. I knew he was guilty. much scarier looking through this camera. <gasps> oh my gosh, those things. Those mannequins. Is 
something here. Okay, let's take this. <gasps> Footsteps running at you is not cool at all. Look, there's something out here. We can pull it with a hook now. The disc angle grinders is damaged. It's enough to use it once. <gasps> Gosh, that's so scary. Okay. can cut this. The disc is broken. Act six together here. forever. Get a little bit scared for you. I gotta come all the way back down there now. <laughs> Bill, 10, 15 p.m. Please tell me we have a flashlight. No, we don't. Performance this Sunday. Happy Father's Day. Oh, whoa, that was funny. <laughs> Hi, what is your name? Aren't you here with your parents? My name is Peter. I'm on a holiday with my dad. Your dad lost you? He asked me to help find a boy with dark hair whose name is Peter. Come on, I'll take you to him. Good. A few hours later. <laughs> hey, kids. Gosh. Can you bring him here? Circus performance this Sunday. Happy Father's Day. I'm waiting for you. Here. <laughs> Need to feed my new friend. Well, look at that. eggs and pizza. How about that? Hi, Mom. <laughs> I'm hungry, too. Whoa. 
take off my nose. Oh, oh. Delicious, I'm going to sleep now. days later. News time. The police are looking for a boy, 10 years old, named JJ. Police officers and volunteers were sent to search for him. Act 7. Darkness comes out. <gasps> this game is so scary. Bastard. Bill. So scary. No flashlight either. Clown. There's a tape. Father's Day. Take it. <gasps> oh. Guilty. Like everything's upside down. Gosh, it's so dark. Why don't I have a flashlight? Gosh. Gosh. A flashlight or something. Oh, that's one. Can I pick that up? Yes, we can. The flashlight doesn't work. Oh, of course it doesn't work. Why would it work? Gosh. Oh my gosh. Magician rides welcome games. <gasps> Gosh, for my son. Ethan, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Your mom asked me not to drive. I didn't listen to her. You know how I want to get it all back. I would do anything for that. Because of my job, I didn't pay attention to you at all. And I was a bad father and husband. I wanted to fix it, but I only made it worse. I took you away from each other. I'm so sorry. I have to try to fix it. Oh, my dear son will be together soon. Ethan. Oh, this stuff is close now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello?
to put the tape in. Oh! I want to sit in a chair. <laughs> Bill, laughter. <laughs> Gosh, that's so creepy. Act 8. Don't leave alive. The battery on the video camera is dead. Jonathan, 3.39 a.m. Flashlight, yes. And a key. Let's take the key. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to open that? Oh my gosh. Somebody in there. Look at that. There's a passage behind the wall. Pick that up. Oh my gosh. Well, there we go. this off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Steam prevents you from picking up a sledgehammer. Oh, that's exactly what we need. We take this, go turn off the steam. We'll go back. Turn off the steam and then come back for the sledgehammer. Let's go back. And no more steam. Let's take this. Go back through. Leave the sledgehammer on the bricks. Oh shit. Can I take this with me for protection? Gosh. I would not do this in real life. I would not. Makes me feel claustrophobic already. Here you will need a step ladder to climb. There's keys. I can now open the box which is in the pantry. 
Let's go back to the creepy tunnel. here now we have a key and open that little box okay let's open the box with the key these bundles to something okay let's go back through Right here. Take the step ladder. Back to the creepy tunnel. Okay, put it down. Go up here. Put those handles. Oh my gosh, what is it gonna be? Don't get caught by Phil. Oh my gosh. We are underneath the rides. Need to take a flashlight with us. God, I hear him. What is this? Take the bell and the phone booth to save the progress of the game. Get him. Here we go. So we just need to not get caught by him. He's already coming. He needs to walk away. Does he see us? Wait, he does see us. <laughs> need a coin. Okay, we need to find coins. Clown's already coming this way. Need him to walk away. Flashlight. There, he's walking away. Okay, we need to find a coin for that vending machine. Okay, we're gonna make a run for it. the coin. We need to get that knife that's in that mannequin's head so we can open that box. <laughs> oh 
And we got this. Okay, what is this? We got the coin. Ooh. Time to go play on the slot machine. Yes. So we need to go that way. Let's go this way. again. Oh, we got the key. Now we can open the locked door in the basement. It's time to go back. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. That's not funny at all. Gosh. And so we got the key. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, here we are. Whoa. Okay, this is the locked gate. We have a key. Perfect. Something. Then I had to do everything myself. Phil didn't talk to me and I decided to take care of Peter myself, brought friends for him, brought food and toys without taking off your outfit because children love clowns. We oui. right, let's go through here. Something. I hear something like in here. <gasps> there he is. Hey, man, calm down. I'll help you out. Keys. I found the boy, Peter. He was alone in that room. Peter told me that there were two more children. I couldn't find them. I couldn't find JJ. Phil hid the information about where he hid them. Maybe I should try again? I'm sure I can find them. Wow, this was crazy. Creator, right now, it's not necessary. We're at an impasse again. Phil is not as simple as it seems. I have a suspicion that, otherwise, let's leave it for now. We are starting the next system startup. Act nine, some places never let go. Phil, 3.27 AM. That boy, his name was Peter, was special. 
I would never hurt him. He was lonely like me. The man he called his father was a monster. I wanted to save him from this world. Are you starting to remember what you did? Flashlight doesn't work. What is up with these flashlights? My order has arrived. Something ringing. <gasps> what am I? What I'm doing is not real. There's no time machine, but where is the reality in which everyone is happy? I'm confused. I can't take it anymore. Okay, there's a box there. Okay, what is this? Oh my gosh, crying. I brought friends for him and brought a lot of toys and food. I wanted to be a real father to him. He shouldn't have felt bad, and he was happy. I did everything for this. The other kids were misbehaving, and I had to calm them down. I don't understand why they called me a maniac. Kids love the clowns. Oh. <gasps> You've been silent for 20 years, and you still think you're innocent? Show me where the children's bodies are hidden. Guilty. We have reached an impasse again, are starting another reboot of the system. Bill, I had to fix it. I'll tell you everything. Court decision, defendant Phil Harris was sentenced to death by electric chair for the abduction and murder of two children. Oh, wow. Those are the police there. They dug up the ground. Everything's evidence. He moved the bodies many times trying to hide them. Eventually, they were found on the territory of the house. Harris buried them in the place where the van was standing. The third child was saved. Oh, dang. Wow, this game was really crazy. It was spooky. During the investigation, the pilot project Golden Egg was involved. Thanks to him, we got recognition from Harris. Whoa. In the Golden Egg, we discovered that Phil Harris suffers from multiple personality disorder, his mind divided. The depressed Phil who withdrew into himself thinking that he could prevent death of his family and the dominant personality of the clown had not manifested himself since childhood. Since the clown controlled him in real life, I think the real Phil helped Jonathan find the place where the children were hidden. He couldn't fix his mistake, but he had to help those families. Again, this is Vandal. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time.